So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with a very special video. Today we're gonna be giving y'all the jump shots. Today we're gonna be giving y'all updated jump shot video. Today we're gonna be giving y'all jump shots for guards, swings. We don't know what swings is six for five to six for nine, and big. Bigs is six for ten and up. And obviously guards will be everything else. So six for four and under. Now we're gonna try to give y'all the best of the best. So if you need a lower rated jump shot, we should give that to y'all. High end, mid, it don't matter. We're gonna try to get y'all everything y'all need more in this video. If you guys do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Further ado, let's hop into it. Alright, so first things first is going to be the shot timing visual cues. Now, instead of me explaining how they work, I'm gonna actually throw in what Mike Wang says on how they work. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Alright, so with that being said, the shot time and visual cue I personally use is set point for majority of my jump shots. So I bend my releases to be able to use set point. Now, I'm gonna go over certain things on based off how I use, but if you guys are struggling to get like contested, if you like getting contested more than you wanna get contested, I'm gonna give you guys the best releases for that, the speed your jump shot up, I'm gonna give you the best releases for that, all that in this video, so just stay tuned. All right, so uh, I probably threw in the shot visual cue because who's better to explain it than the person that made the game himself. Now, I can't give you him literally explaining the jump shots because he's not gonna do that. But that's what I'm here for. So, we gonna give y'all the best guards first. Steph Curry. In my opinion, Steph Curry is probably the best jump shot in the game for green windows. I think guards probably have the best jump shots in the game. Now, releases. I'm switching it up for y'all boys with the guards. D-Book, Oscar Robinson. Now, the reason why I'm changing it up for y'all because I know a lot of people don't run set point as much as I do. So if I was a guard, I would put these jump shots at release or anything else. I think release is probably the best one for guards, but I don't use these releases. So these releases going to not only have you with the best accuracy possible, but also get you the best jump shot, fastest jump shot possible. And when you're a guard, it's kind of more important to have those faster jump shots. So yeah, you're going to go Devin Booker as release one. Oscar Robinson released two. You could also throw in a Darius Garland somewhere in there. That's another one to speed it up, but that's what I did. And then we did go very quick. And we blinked it more so to Oscar Robinson. And yeah, Stephen Curry is the base. That's probably the best base, best jump shot in the game. Another one that I'll give you as I'm mention that I'm not throwing in this video is Jerry West. But the way I use that is I just use the jump shot. I don't use no custom. But let's move into the next one. The next one, I call this like the Ticino. But it's not really. Uh, if you want to use Trace McGrady, but on a small guard, this is that. You got Allen Iverson, Tony Parker, uh, Oscar Robinson, and then you got the 75-25. Now, you could use D-Book on this again. I just did this to change it up a little bit. But yeah, you're going to get a little bit better stats, I believe, with Tony Parker. Um, you could use Darius Garland on this as well. But that's just what I ended up doing. Kind of the same thing as what I was saying with the releases. But yeah, when it comes to the shot vision queue, it is very important to know which one you're going to use on these builds. Because you may be using the wrong shot visual cue for said jump shot. It just is what it is. Um, but yeah, very quick, 25-75. I'm always going to blend it more so to Oscar Robinson. It's just simple as that. And then last but not least, when it comes to the guard jump shots, we got y'all boys with really what was kind of like my favorite base on 2K23 for the small guards and Kyle Lowry. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Tony Parker, Oscar Robinson, very quick. Again, you can use Darius Garland, D-Book, it does not matter. But yeah, this is just going to be really good releases. A really, really solid base for the green window, speed, all that and above. And yeah, blending going to be 75, 25, blended to Oscar, then max speed. So yeah, that's going to be the guard jump shots. Alright, so let's hop into the swings. Now, the swings are my main views. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I use. But I'm also show you guys some popular and I guess more universal choices, I guess you could say. That it wouldn't be just so up much of a personal choice. But let's hop into the first one. Romeo Langford. This is my most versatile jump shot. I use this on the most builds. Romeo Langford, Brandon Pawzimski, Larry Bird, quick, 7525. If you are six for five and six for six, you can use this. Now, if you don't know what swing is, before I go too deep, make sure that you know that it's six for five to six nine. 6'5", 6'6", can get very quick. 6'7", 6'9", can get quick. 
and that's just what it is um now another thing you gotta make sure that you understand how i did this so my jump shots i use set point so in my opinion these are the best releases to use on pretty much any base i'm gonna use for set point that's how i'm basing it off of i'm gonna have you two other jump shots that you can really use on any other visual cue but these are the best releases that work for me and my visual cue and my way of shooting i guess you could say so yeah that's the first jump shot romeo lane for i've been saying that for a minute now uh the next one is my backup torian prince a little bit higher of a rating so you get an 83 on this one the other one had a 78 so if you know what i'm saying i want to go for a higher rating maybe one higher stats bigger green window this is the one i go with i ain't gonna lie the other one is a little bit faster though but torian prince uh brandon popzimski larry bird quick 75 25 pretty much the same thing not really too much of a difference now again if you are six for five six for six you can go very quick i am six nine so i only can go quick just is what it is now let's hop into something more universal the t-mac everybody loves t-mac on this game now t-mac is one of the most popular bases in the entire game on 2k24 but with that being said i switched it up a lot on the releases i got d-book and oscar robinson now uh another one i'm not gonna really showcase that's a really good one it's sadiq bay that's a good release but yeah for the most part these are the releases i would use if i'm running anything else besides set point if i'm using like jump where i don't have to base it off the release and if i'm using release where it just as soon as i'm done with everything in the jump shot like the ball is in there so yeah um that's just really what it is but yeah d book oscar quick 75 25 so quick is just making showing you gonna understand this max speed so if you are six for five six for six you can go very quick but yeah this time i went 75 more so to the up release too because i wanted to be more based off of oscar robinson when i'm doing the set point i wanted to be more based off of Pazimski because larry bird slows it down a lot but also when you do do it like that it does stretch out the green window on set point so that is another thing to say but top for another day uh last but not least this is a jump shot i had my guy using that has a 99 three ball all year he's been using this all year and i'm telling y'all the shots he hits with this jump shot is crazy he hits now this is not his exact jump shot but this is what i would use if i was using kobe bryant um i think he just uses kobe bryant like the jump shot he don't do no custom and he hits 90s 80s consistently i ain't gonna lie but yeah kobe d book troy brown jr troy brown jr is actually a really popular release i think this is like the fastest release in the game or something like that and look at it it's like no release to it you're just going all the way from you're just going from the base to shooting it's like you're instantly shooting it's like an instant shot so if you set point on this good luck like you're you're just good luck bro like there's no cue for this at all like it's instant so like i would really say like you only can use something like this if you're using jump or mainly release so yeah that's what i'll say um you could use oscar you could use uh sadiq bay you could use Pazimski. you could use larry bird which will be this is what i would say i'm just showing y'all like some other options for the releases and then you got quick you could go very quick you six for five six for six again and then it's every five more so to d book if you want to slow it down you know what i'm saying you could do that it's not gonna be as fast but it's still gonna be pretty fast Troy Brown Jr. is just a really, really fast release. It's just, it's just it what it is. But yeah, that's going to be the uh, jump shots for the swings. Um, I tried to give y'all as much as possible. Make sure that you peep the visual cue, what Mike Wayne says, what you're supposed to be timing it off of based off whatever visual cue you do go, whether that be release, jump, set point, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. All right, so let's hop into the bigs, last but not least. So these are pretty simple. Um, the three bases you can go with are pretty simple, but I will say that if you can get Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant probably is the best overall base. Um, Lamarcus Aldridge is another base, but I think the one that I prefer the most is Lamarcus, Ar or not Lamarcus Aldridge, but David Robinson. But that's just something to say. Now, with that being said, the releases you can go with for this, I'm going to pretty much show you the same two releases on all of these. Pretty much going to be the same blendings too. So you're always going to go max speed. Um, you're always going to try to blend it more to D Tim Duncan. But you can go Jaren Jackson, you can go Dirk Nowitzki. It's a lot of different releases you can go for bigs. But I did end up going with Tim Duncan and Kevin Love. But yeah, that's the first jump shot. Um, I didn't mean to say that, but yeah, that just is what it is. Second jump shot, Eric Pascal. One of the best bases in the game for big men. Big men don't have a lot of options, I would say. But yeah, Eric Pascal is one of the best. Um, you also got stuff like James Johnson, Jonathan Isaac. You know what I'm saying? But those, I wouldn't say are as good as these three. I'm, or four, I guess I'm showing you. 
in this video. But yeah, um, and then you get the last but not least, MPJ. MPJ, if you watch Bro playing in real life, he get the ball, he's shooting. No matter what, he's shooting. He's not doing no passes. And this is a really good jump shot in the game. It's going to be a real good green window, real good consistency. If you want to fade with it, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice for a good all-around jump shot. It's not going to be too fast, especially with the fact that if you're a big man, you only can get normal. You cannot get quick. You cannot get very quick. You only can go up to normal, go down to slow, and go down to very slow. I don't know why you would do those two things. But, yeah, that's just the options. And then, yeah, Tim Duncan, Kevin Love, normal, and then 60 40. If you want to blend it towards K Love, you can. If you want to put on some other releases, you can. If you want to slow it down, you can. Um, but also, just keep in mind that you got to do this a lot based off what your shot visual cue. Like the jump shot and all is fine, but it's not based like it's not shot release timing like it was on 23. It's shot visual cue. So you're literally picking a visual cue to time it off of. So if you do use jump, you're gonna be timing it off the jump. If you do use set point, you're going to be tied it off the set point. And then so on and so on. So you got to make sure that you understand what you're using. And yeah, I put the whole Mike Wang, I guess the way he described it, in his words of how you're supposed to retire it off the top music queue in this video. So make sure that if you did skip that, you pay attention to that. But yeah, that's going to be the big man jump shots in the game. If y'all do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. I'm out there, man. All of my friends are dead. Leave them in the cold, put them in the tundra. I go right, Charles. I can I see her? I make a fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah, pussy in the jungle. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!